Welcome to the tutorial on how to add a new agent or broker to the broker page on Park Place Real Estate. What I'm going to do is first I'm just going to open up the brokers page and you can see here it already has all of the current brokers uh, for Park Place in it. And I'm doing this so that I can get the information for the current agent that I'm adding to the contact us page. So I'm going to start with Eric Green. What I've done is I've gone ahead and logged into the admin at Park Place. You go ahead and click on X site, and then on the left you're going to click on My Content, and then you're going to click on the Custom tab in the middle. Once you do that, you're going to open up the Contact page, and when you get to the Contact page, it's going to look like, basically it's going to look like this. You're going to scroll down, and I usually toggle the Edit screen to a full screen mode. That way I can scroll down more and work with a bigger screen. You can also widen the page a little bit if you want. And since we're adding Eric Green in alphabetical order, starting under Je or actually above Jenna, below Judy, here's where I'm going to add him. So I'm simply going to right click in the middle of Judy's name and I'm going to choose insert row below. And we're going to start with Eric's picture. This is basically like a tic-tac-toe board. You're going to add your plate things and information into the tic-tac-toe board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this first cell and I'm going to hit the center, align center. So we're going to put an image in there and they're all aligned in the center. I'm going to come up here, I'm going to click on this little image manager. It looks like a little mountain with the sun. Eric's pictures has already been preloaded in here. So I'm going to find him, Eric Business Photo. Okay, there he is. Insert. Now obviously this is a lot bigger than the other pictures. So to start with, I'm going to use Judy as my, my uh, sample. I'm going to right click on her and choose Set Image Properties. And I can see that she is 75 by 113. That's what I'm looking for is the width and height. So 75 is really what I need is the width. So I'm going to hit Cancel on her. I'm going to go ahead to Eric's picture. I'm going to right click and hit Set Image Properties. I'm going to change this to 75 and click this little constraint button. It'll automatically make it the correct height. You can also add a label in here if you want. And I will usually copy this into the next line as well. And I like to add one border, color black, and hit OK. You're good. Now, second cell, you're going to center this as well. You're going to bold it. And you're going to choose the font type as Arial and the size as 3. Even if it says 3, always change it to 3. You're going to type in the agent's names, Eric Green, or agent name. We're going to go to the next cell. We're going to center this one as well. We're going to choose Arial 3, this time not bolded, and we're going to put broker. On the last one, we don't need to center, but we do want to change the font to Arial and size 3 again. And we're going to put in the phone numbers, direct. And now I'm going to go back to the agent page. I can see his direct number is 503-537-4925. rather. 4925-4925. And we want to copy the office number because everybody has the office number. So I'm simply highlighting it, copying it, and going to the next line, holding my shift key and hitting enter. That's very important. When you go into the direct, you're not going to hit just enter because it's going to put too big of a space. So you're going to hold your shift key and hit enter. It's going to make a one line space. Then I'm going to paste, control V, allow access. And then my last step, shift enter again. I'm going to put his email, eric at parkplacepdx.com. So eric at park place pdx.com space at the end will automatically turn that into a link. I'm going to do this one more time with the new agent which is Kristen Sarka. So we're going to go down here. Where's Kristen? She should be at the very bottom. There she is. And we're going to add her. There's nobody. She's going to be above Larissa so we're going to right click above Larissa or in Larissa's cell and in this case, I'm using the below cell, and so I'm going to insert row above. Again, we're going to start with the photo. It's already centered, so I can just go straight to Image Manager. And 
then we're going to add Kristen Sarka. We already know the width on this is 75, so I'm going to right click on the image, choose Set Image Properties, make it 75, and hit Constrain. I'm going to put her name here and here. I'm going to make the border one width and change the color to black. There you go. Center this. Bold. Arial. Size 3. Kristen Sarka. Again, center. Arial. Size 3. Broker. And we're going to go Arial. Size 3. Direct. Direct number is 503-810-4043. And we'll go ahead and copy. Oh, I just realized I didn't use parentheses, so I'm going to go back and fix that. I'm going to double check Eric. Parentheses. Now I can copy the office number and Michelle right above here. Oops. Just highlight it, Control C. Go back to Kristen. Hit my Shift Enter to go down one line. Control V is in Victor. And then Shift Enter, Kristen. Let's double check, make sure her email is Kristen at ParkPlacePDX, and it is ParkPlacePDX.com, space after, so it turns it into a link. And that is it. Eric Green and Kristen Sarka have now been added. I'm going to toggle the full screen mode to back to the regular screen. And I'm going to hit Save and Close. Once this is saved, I'm going to go to the Contact Us page. Scroll down and double check. Now, I notice that the text is not correct here for either Kristen or Eric. So I'm going to come back in here. Open up the Contact Us again. If this happens, which it sometimes does, the easiest way to correct it is to put go to their name and put some X's in front of it. And then use your sample person. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use Larissa. And I'll put some W's by her name. And I'm going to go down here. After I've toggled it to full screen, I'm going to come to this little HTML less than greater than symbols. I'm going to go down to the bottom where I know these two are and I'm looking at where the W's are because they're easy to find because I put a bunch of W's and the X's are. What is the difference in this one? The code has automatically taken the font size 3. This is Larissa. She's correct. And in Kristen it has not. So I'm simply going to highlight the font size Arial so you can see that says font size Arial where it's Larissa you can see it says font size 3 face Arial. So this one is incorrect. I'm just going to highlight over it and paste the correct one. And everywhere else, I'm going to do the same thing where it says broker. I'm highlighting and pasting. And right where it says her phone number, I'm also going to highlight and paste. And those are the three places that I have to fix. I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to look for Eric and I'm going to do the same thing next to his name in the three little places where I see font equals Arial. And I will go back by to the regular design by clicking on the pencil next to the last thing greater than. And then I can come down here, delete the W's, delete the X's, Take the full screen mode off, save and continue, and then refresh my page. All should be correct now. You may or may not have that problem when you're adding new clients, or rather new brokers to the site. Um, when you do add them and you refresh the screen, if you don't see any problems, go ahead and continue on. You don't need to complete that last step.
And that is the tutorial for how to add a new broker to the Contact Us page.